Hi everybody, my name is Camila Pacheco Flores and I'm a 2L at Minnesota Law. I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about Indian Law Moot Court and moot courts generally. So at Minnesota Law, as a 2L, you have to either participate in journal or in a moot court. Um, so a journal is, they, they have a different process where you have to apply and kind of write a paper as the application and that's something I started and then halfway through I kind of realized you know I don't really need that much more experience with legal research writing editing all that stuff because that's something I feel pretty confident in and I have a good grounding in in my past experiences but what I really need practice with is how to be in court how to do oral arguments how to transfer my ideas on paper into my ideas in front of a judge where I get super nervous. So I thought moot court was going to be a lot heavier on the oral argument side and really not get me much legal research, but I found that it's actually given me both, which is really great. So Indian law moot court is specifically about um, the laws of tribes in the um, Native American tribes in the United States. And it's been a really cool uh, case to work on. So moot courts have a, a fake case, a closed case that they're working on. Not a closed case, but kind of a fake case that we're working on. And it's a really topical issue for a lot of it, tribes in the United States. And so that's really exciting, first of all. And then second of all, it's really exciting to be learning about Indian law, be learning about tribes um, and the history, because a lot of it is related to history, particularly in the context of living in Minnesota, where there are a lot of Native American tribes and that uh, context comes up a lot. So even this past summer, there was a, a few folks that I worked with who worked directly with clients that were tribes at this big law firm in, in downtown Minneapolis. And then also I did some pro bono work that summer and we worked with the Native American Women's Resource Center and did some pro bono work with some Native folks in the area. So it's on all levels from big firm to public interest it intersects in a lot of ways. So it was really exciting to to delve into this context a little bit more. And generally, it's been a great experience. My professor is an adjunct. He is a practicing attorney at a tribe in Minnesota. So he's given some really helpful context of what this looks like in real life. And my student director is really thorough, does great job at mentoring. So I found Moot Court to be a really great experience. I'm happy to talk to you about it more. Thanks.